What's up, Doc? What's you up, with Doc? The... Hey, folks, Michael McGee here. No, this is not rabbit, but it's about the size of a rabbit, so I could understand why you would think it might be rabbit. Let me just show you. Can you guess what it is? Intentionally, I left it out of the title of this video so that I would just give you at least a second to guess because almost all videos are titled with the exact description of what's going on. Main thing that's going on is I'm trying to hurry because it's almost lunchtime. It's time to cook some quick meal. What do you hear boiling over here? Red potatoes that I had just cut up. When they're fresh like this, we just leave the skin on them. Cut them up into a pot. Boil them things down. Are they ever good? So, what we've got here is a ground hog. In Tennessee, groundhog season's open year around. There is no closed season on groundhog. I was coming in from bush hogging, and I seen my son Matthew with my 22 pellet rifle and a groundhog in his hand. I was surprised. He did really well. And so I got a video of me skinning this groundhog and showing how to do that. It got lost when my phone jumped out of the truck and took off down the road somewhere in an eight mile stretch. I have no clue where it is. I lost a few very nice videos including the tater digging video where we got these taters now we put them over here under this blanket on the porch to cure because you got to cure them out before you store them so fortunately for you we still have yukon gold and kennebec potatoes to harvest so you will get potato digging videos this year do not worry but i lost a few videos but that's not a big deal we are moving forward in the same amount of time it takes to lose a video, we can make a video. So as you see right here, I'm taking my scissors, meat scissors, and cutting right through the bones of them ribs. That leaves me a nice two pieces of back meat. I've got two hind quarters, two front quarters. I got actually another back piece, three of those. I've got this really nice rib with the midland meat and the heart. I really enjoy that cut if it's fried properly. It's cut up, it's ready to pat dry. Now when we are gonna season this, we're gonna use my favorite Camp Dog seasoning. I have been some taking some good ribbing from a few people where I didn't use Camp Dog in some stuff. And I know why you might think I have, that I just, I'm tied up and I can't use nothing else. I don't use this because I'm tied up and I can't use nothing else. I use this because it is amazing. Amazing. And I've got a lot of people watching this right now that are saying, yep, mm -hmm, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm going to throw a little salt in on it too because I like that pink Himalayan salt. Give that a little stir. Before you know it, we're going to have these babies frying in the skillet. One thing about this meal, I need to hurry, I need to go fast, I need to cook quick. You can't do that with a big old groundhog that looks like he's been around 10 years. This guy right here, he's probably only about four months old. And man, is he ever worthwhile. Mm -mm -mm. Now we're gonna get this over in this skillet. I can see some smoker coming up. It's time to get a move on. Yes, sir, it's perfect. I put my thicker pieces in first because they take the longest to fry, obviously. Hind quarters, front shoulders. Oh my goodness, it's been a while since I had a good fried meal like this. I'll just tell you. Somebody asked me recently in a raccoon video to show him how to cut the glands out. This dude is young, I don't even know if he has glands in him. It's been a while since I made my camp dog offer. The offer is still good. I just don't always say it in every video because I don't want to bore nobody. But if for some reason, and there's pretty good reason, that you might want some camp dog seasoning, you can get it for 20% off. Go down in the description of this video and you'll find a link. And you use the promo code McGee. M-C-G-I-E. You will get your 20% off. If you don't, you hold up me and I'll get a hold of Mr. Camp Dog and we'll make it right. What do you think? Should I make some gravy? Go with them taters? I'm thinking I will. Look at the size of that baby. Woo! 
A very important part of this process, get that covered up and move it on a lower heat. Which we're going to do that by scooting over off that fire. I'd say these taters are done. Not sure yet, I'll check it out. Yep, ready to mash. They can cook just a little longer, but they are mashing. My daughter, she's the gardener here. Of course, she has help, but she's growing these good green beans. They're good this year. All right, while that continues to fry, I'm going to get to work on these taters. Oh, how many of you save your potato water for your gravy? This here is real easy to do. Now, I like moist potatoes, so I don't, I don't take all my tater water out. I don't. Now, just set that to the side. When our meat's done, we'll start making gravy. But for now, we're gonna mash these babies. Another video that I lost for you when that phone jumped out of the truck, I had a potato salad video and we went to a July the 4th party at a really good friend's place, had fireworks. We had some of the best barbecue ribs ever buddy Owen made. This thing is popping and making noise and that just messes my video all up. Maybe if I put it up here, it don't help a whole lot. It's messing my video up. All right. So anyway, we had a great time. I had some people on there never had been on my channel before and that, well, that video was laying in a ditch somewhere. So a little bit on the sad side, but here we go, all right, I've got them mashed as good as I like. We're gonna throw in some nice salt. We've got cream and milk. That's mostly cream that I just poured right off the top. But you know, the cream always rises to the top. Oh, this is gonna be too runny. Well, we won't need no gravy with this. I guess I should have drained all the water out. Well, we'll see how it goes. Sometimes as they stiffen up, they go from too runny to just perfect. I believe I set her back on the stove here and let her think about what she done. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna give you a little trick. If you make your taters too runny, all you gotta do is throw a little flour in there, thicken it up, just like you'd thicken gravy. And I've never done that before, but that's my tip to you. All right, let's see what we got here. Whoa, I do believe we're done. I do believe we're done, I do believe we're done. It's time to make gravy. Let's get this out of here. Oh, that looks good. That is a meal fit for a absolute king right there. And look at all that grease we got left. All right, here's how we do that. We're going to first of all take our leftover flour, sprinkle that in there, and stir that around as best as we can. Just keep all the lumps out of it, just like that. Real easy. A lot of people don't really know how to make gravy. Some people just can't live without gravy. All right, look at that grease just a sizzling. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pour in my tater water. Just like so. Give that a little stir, a little mash mash. All the clumps out. Gravy is synonymous with a beverage. Is that good? Now, we still got some of this old cream in this milk left over from our tater deal. We're gonna pour some out in there. Give that a quick stir. All right, boil, baby, boil. You know what, I think I'm gonna give it a little more. All right. All right, open this baby up and get this fire rolling. Fire, you say? Yeah, buddy, fire. Where there's smoke, there's fire, look here. 
That's beautiful right there. Beautiful. All right, honey buns, let's go. All right, we've got a full nice boil going on here. Whew. What you want to do, you want the grease, the flour, the milk. It's all going to be homogenized. And it is. We're done. Let's get out of here. I'll grab a couple of these pot holders. I'm going to head the house. All right, boys, it's ready. All right, I'm going to get the meat. All right, folks, time to get it. If that ain't groceries, grease ain't gravy. All right, I'm gonna get a thick piece just to make for sure it's done. Not because I'm the hungriest. Can somebody give me some of them nice thick taters? Mary, if you had taters that was too runny, would you thicken them with uh, flour? <laughs> uh, Matt, can you give me some gravy there? I need some of the great green beans you grew there, Mary. Oh, look at that. Mm. Thank you. All right. Everybody got what you need? Folks, that is a meal right there. I, I had somebody ask me, well, it was Heath down there in California. He said, what's your staple? I said, I'm a meat and potatoes guy. And he said, me too. So we asked a blessing. Whose turn is it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's Matt's turn, ain't it? Mm -hmm. So Father, thank you for this food and this day and everything. And Please keep us safe. And thank you for helping us get all this stuff done. And Jesus name I pray, amen. Amen. All right, everybody, tell me how you enjoy it. Is it good? The fork pokes right into it. The teeth go right into it. It's been a while since I had a good camp dog fried po possum, coon, and groundhog. They all pretty much taste the same. They're all on this channel. If you go back, run back through, uh, you can go through my meat preparation videos. I got one called All Things Edible Playlists. You'll find them. Good old possum, good old. Well, I started out with skunk on the channel four years ago. It's good. Mm -hmm. You might like it? It's good, real good. That, my friend, is a meal you can eat. Let's try these red Pontiac potatoes. They hot. Mmm. I like potatoes. Is the gravy okay? Mmm. Gravy's only slightly runnier than a potato. Mary, your green beans are good too. Mm -mm -mm. In case you're wondering, she planted Blue Lake bush beans this year. She does have some string beans coming on as well, but these are coming in now. Well, is there anything else that needs to be said? These people would love to hear from you boys and Mary. Any words of wisdom, counsel, advice, etc., etc. Don't take any wooden nickels. If you get a chance to get you a young groundhog, do it. This guy right here got this one while I was off of bush hogging. So we're going to get on out of here. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.